Okay. This is what I've been going through for the last, I don't know, 15 minutes. And I used to be afraid of these puddles. But what's weird is you actually have more traction going through the puddles, the scary puddles that you can't see the bottom of, than you do on the sides in the mud. There's something about the, the mud at the bottom of the puddles is surprisingly grippy for the back tire, whereas the mud on the sides is not at all grippy. It's super, super slippery. So like in a scenario like this, I could go up on the right, but my wheel will just slide into the center. And it turns out I actually have more traction in the center anyway. So I've learned to just go through these, even though it's super fucking scary. Who knows, like, that thing could be 350. Anyway, the one thing that, uh, the one saving grace is that, uh, the water fording height of this bike is actually pretty high. Maybe just three feet, two feet. So as long as I keep the water out of the exhaust by gunning the engine, uh, I'm not going to stall in the middle. And if I do, of course, I always have the tow race. Still, no, no trip, man. I think all the rain the last few days. Oh, and then of course I have to remember after going after going through all that mud. My back tire is slippery as fuck. Like even just going over like this kind of like dirt terrain, my tire sliding up all over the place left and right because of the mud in it. So I'm going through this Maybe stuff that's uh, obvious to more seasoned off-road riders, but okay. Now we're back. No motorbikes that way. I go down on the Oh yeah, back tire sliding way out. I don't know if you can see that on video.